Please know, as always, this is not medical advice. This is for informational and educational purposes only. Uh, if you do want to incorporate anything that we're talking about or do further investigation, consult with your healthcare practitioner before implementing uh, anything that we do discuss. It really just depends on what your problem is when it comes to glucose. Are you severely insulin resistant? Berberine is going to be very, very helpful in that case. Are you now insulin sensitive, but you want to moderate your glucose to a better extent? Probably the apple cider vinegar is the better option. Both of them are beneficial. Neither of them are harmful. If you have any questions, I'll do them both. And so that, that should improve insulin sensitivity at the cell, um, just like the drug metformin. Berberine is a pretty powerful um, insulin resistance, um, assist supplement. The other thing I really like to use it for is heartburn. So right. it really creates a more basic um, environment in the stomach. So if you're struggling with heartburn or trying to come off of your, you know, your omeprazole or any other PPI, um, apple cider vinegar can be very helpful with that. I'm um, sure. So Ozempic is a, what we call a GLP one agonist. And so what it does is it helps the, it helps in three different ways. It slows gastric emptying, um, it helps reduce or improve. And I actually was just talking to Dr. Bickman about this yesterday, and I don't think I actually got a real clear answer, but it, it helps with insulin production in order to help lower blood sugar. So theoretically, this shouldn't be what we're aiming for with insulin lowering diets, because we should be able to make more insulin. But anecdotally, I have several patients with uh, that I have prescribed or have come to me with Ozempic. And I think that, um, there, in my opinion, it just makes the beta cells work more efficiently. And so therefore we're not making more insulin. We're just more efficient with the use of our insulin. Um, and therefore, if we're not making quite as much because we're not just spitting it out all over the place, then that's where the weight loss component comes in. So when it comes to Ozempic and fasting, the one comment I get from all of my patients is, is how much their appetite is suppressed with Ozempic use. So it's going to make your fasting easier when it comes to actual insulin resistance. The only benefit there is because you're fasting, you're improving your insulin resistance. It's not the ozempic. The ozempic doesn't have any effect on, on the cell when it comes to the resistance to insulin, if that makes sense. And so really what I would say, you know, if you are, if you're with the question with the herbal use, I would incorporate berberine for sure. In that, in that picture, stay on your ozempic, try to minimize the dose. Cause there's really only a, a very small um, range of dosing that we have to keep the dose as minimal as possible. And then use that, that benefit of the appetite suppression to maximize your fasting abilities. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.